Mr. Speaker, uh, nobody wants tax increases. And uh, a tax increase right now would be detrimental to the economy of the United States. In fact, the Treasury Secretary thinks it would be disastrous. It would put the economy into a tailspin. Chairman Rangel of the Ways and Means Committee recently uh, tried to use as a wedge the AMT, the Alternative Minimum Tax, as a way to create a new system down the road that would raise billions and billions of dollars in new taxes across this country. As a matter of fact, they would raise the top tax rate on capital gains to 36 percent. They would raise uh, on people making over $200,000 a year, uh, raise their tax rate to 36 percent. And uh, these tax increases, increases would be absolutely devastating uh, to the people of this country and to the economy of this country. What concerns me is that Chairman Rangel, in 1996, had an opportunity to uh, vote against the alternative minimum tax, but he voted for it. And now he's saying he's against it and he's using it as a wedge to try to get other taxes increased, which over the long term, over the next 10 years, will result in billions and billions of dollars in new tax increases for the people of this country. So tonight, I would like to enter into the record some statements made by Grover Norquist and uh, Bob Novak, uh, a column he wrote today, so that the people of this country will be aware of what's coming about. Explaining all these tax changes is very difficult in five minutes. It's very difficult for the people of this country to understand. But I just want the people of this country to know that the Democrats are planning to use the AMT as a wedge so that they can raise taxes across the board and hit everybody. And it's going to hurt the economy of this country and hurt every American taxpayer. So all I'd like to say is uh, the American people need to know this. I'm putting this in the record, and I hope everybody will read this. Everybody wants to do away with the alternative minimum tax on our side of the aisle, but we want to do it cleanly. We want to, in one fell swoop, get it done. At the very least, we ought to reduce it over a period of time so it goes away. But they're using it as a wedge so that they can raise more taxes in the next 10 years, and it will be very detrimental to the American economy. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time.